Hello YouTube! I'm El Worfie, and today we're playing some Civilization VI. Uh, this is going to be the uh, second episode in this s amazing series of How to Make America Great Again. <laughs> no. The, as you can see, barbarians have now started plundering our city. So we're actually going to be sending troops back up to go defend ourselves. Plus there's nothing over here. Uh, we're going to explore this way, obviously, to try and see if we can find our next victim. But until then, we got to defend our, our city. This is all our empire now. So uh, we want to be doing that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get irrigation, then get astrology. Um, we don't need sailing. Thank God, because everyone's on this continent, like or er, on this map. There's more than one continent, um, but generally, like for example, this guy, he's pro uh, kind of probably loosed. The continent, the Pangaea map probably loops around like this, I'm going to say, I hope. Um, if it doesn't, that would just be kind of sad. Uh, yep, so that ship doesn't really matter. going to choose the Civic. Uh, military tradition seems good to me. It needs orders. You keep healing on faith, and you just keep exploring. Again, that scout's not going to do anything anymore. And we're going to keep uh, looking around. Yep, enemy slinger, not a big deal. Again, we're gonna run up here. Plus, there might be another, you know, there might be another empire up here to, to find. Who knows? But yeah, so we're splitting our army. Not always the best thing, but it's what we're doing. And whichever we, whoever we find next, eh, sure, accept the money. Uh, nothing wrong with having open borders with people you're not currently fighting. It will not be the end of the world. Yeah, that scout's probably gonna get gonna get wrecked, but we can move through city-states. Okay, um... So it looks like we're finding the edges of our continent. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run that scout forward. Run that archer forward. Yeah, just run everyone back to defend as well as... You know, this this happens sometimes, barbarians pillaging. But don't worry about it, because we have three cities! And we put all of our builders into our second city after clearing out a barbarian camp. So really, even though this is our capital, I mean... This is where we're really going to have more production, so it's not too big of an issue. Um, we c oh, major victory? Sure. We can kill him, I guess. Didn't think we would, but uh, the computer says otherwise, so we'll do it. And maybe that city state will help. Probably won't, though. Stock, stock Thousands won't. have lived without love. Yeah. Oh, another barbarian. Victory again. Uh, no, let's actually promote. Um, that way uh, we can keep going a couple rounds with them. Uh, actually, because of that barbarian camp, we're going to move this warrior back. We got when, You have three cities really early, so without having to build settlers, because you'll notice we built one settler, but we didn't need to build two. So uh, just having that extra city right off the bat is really useful. And, uh, you know, move as you can, run in. We're about to make uh, the campus. Uh, that's uh, located over here. Don't worry, we're not going to lose that. If we were, I'd be spending gold to get units. I'm not spending gold to get units because, one, it's nice to build up gold. Two, I don't think there's much of a rush. Uh, we're, we're doing fine. Yeah, no, he, that guy, we got him to run away. We'll make a builder to repair it. Repairing doesn't take away from the builder, so we'll fully utilize the builder. Major victory to attack that because, again, it's on our continent, so we can just kind of kill everyone. Yeah, good good barbarian hit. Or good, good warrior hits, I should say. Um... Sure, go sit on the capital, I suppose. We'll move, we'll move our troops over, make a library on top of our campus. We'll use this guy to... How much movement is that? I gotta, you gotta hover over things and... Movement cost three? Ew, but... We could get a possible shot off on that guy next time. Okay, so we're moving our archers. Uh, our borders should be pretty secure, and we might e we don't attack city states as America. You don't you don't need to. Uh, you can. It it won't hurt anything too much. Stalemate. Nah. Let's promote. I always get the hill movement because there's more hills. I think in the game. Uh, yeah, major victory. Sweet. 
Yeah, so you heal your scout, you're able to take out slingers. He has trouble against uh, warriors, but your scout, you're going to find that your scout gets really leveled up if you utilize the scout to the best of your ability. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Yep, and then we'll kill him. I don't believe in astrology. It's a close battle. It's always a close battle, but uh, what are you going to do? Did I kill him all the way? I'm just checking. Yep, that will kill him all the way. Nice. So he should get some XP from that. Alright, and again, uh, this guy will probably get killed, but one less barbarian unit never hurt anyone. We got we have two more barbarian units right here. Or, no, warriors. Keep saying barbarian units. Oh yeah, cover the uh, campus. Don't want to lose the campus. Early. We want to get early research. Um, go ahead and get uh, bronze working. Get Kind of get whatever you feel like. There's not like a... This isn't a research guide or anything. Sure, and then we can use a scout to kill him. And then we'll use... Our archer, push our archers forward. Again, you're good. You'll fortify. And yeah, as you can see, we're able to spread throughout the whole map pretty quick. It's a pretty good foothold. And because we're focusing on making science too, that yeah, I think those archers killed it. And then these guys are gonna die also. Oh, they didn't. We'll we'll run them away. Uh, we'll save them. Wow, uh, that's surprising. I actually. <laughs> All right then. Uh, yeah, so we'll get them away. Keep him from being chased down. Move that warrior onto the city. To fortify it. And now we'll go ahead and promote the archer. Because why not? And let's keep exploring. Now we only really want to go one direction at a time, but since it seems we're in the middle this time... Uh, well, the first time I did this I was on a corner. Uh, unless no one ends up being over here, but I doubt that. We're supposed technically on the map, the water could be right here, and this guy's on the other end of the entire continent. Like, if we walk all the way over... The Oop, careful. Uh, you can glitch out the game a little if you start scrolling. Um, right, state workforce. Definitely want state workforce. Heal up your unit. Um, go ahead and heal. Heal as you need to. I'm glad that you can walk through your own guys, too. That's super helpful. So, yeah, we're just, blo you know, flying through. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, stay peaceful again with everyone. Uh, again, since we fought in the ancient era, um, the cool thing for the AI, anyway, is that you don't get a warmonger penalty. Bronze and that'll be mirror. true in a multiplayer game, also. You're not gonna um, suffer a warmonger penalty. Why don't you pull that guy back? We need to. We need to clear out this camp. Uh, we need to have more more troops down here, as pa. More guys down here. Sure, and we'll use our archers. Go ahead and shoot down at those uh, warriors who are scouts out and just kind of explore. You get research anything you have a boost for first, uh, no matter what it is generally, because it's saving you time. Um, ooh, didn't... Well, oh, wow, see? <laughs> we I don't know why that battle went the way it did where we didn't take any losses, but, you know, fine with me. So now we'll uh, clear these guys out. If that first wave doesn't volley doesn't do it, the second volley does. Yeah. So we take that out, and then we push the scout forward. And we'll push this archer up. Again, kind of keeping the army together, so that way they can do coordinated attacks. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, kill, attack that scout. It's not going to kill it, but better than nothing, right? And we'll bring the uh, the war our warrior up here for another attack, and then we'll have a coordinated. And one nice thing about being America is that oh. Hold on. <laughs> Again, just make... Oh, I don't know why... We, I don't know what happened to the map there. Um, yeah, so just kind of um, hold your ground, go ahead and heal. Um, I was going to say, that one nice thing about being America is that you're always going to be near water. Um, there's some civs, like Egypt, that are generally near river, but they're not necessarily near 
you know, like an ocean in America, because uh, in the true start, they'd be on the east coast of the United States, you know, Washington, D.C., right? So it'd make a little more... Oh, there was a barbarian camp there. I did not notice that. That's me being bad. I did not pay attention. Uh, both these guys shoot? Weird. Okay, uh, I didn't know they both shot. I'm going, maybe I'm going way too fast. If I'm going too fast for you guys, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... Uh, you know, there's a lot of turns. This is a long game. I, I don't want to make the game take longer than it needs to. Ooh, just spawn a, a unit. Yeah, okay, we're killing him. Oh, he's healing. That's why he didn't get to go. Yeah, you, you heal. Move on to the hill to get a better vantage point, and we'll just snake this guy around and advance our archer forward to get some good shots. All right, we have a trade route. Uh, trade with anyone who gives you science. Science and gold. Uh, food and production aren't as big of a deal. Uh, go ahead and make your campuses as as you wish, preferably on somewhere that doesn't give you uh, that doesn't have a benefit on it. You know, it doesn't have farms or is, isn't improved already. Essentially. Oh, uh, you don't want to do that. That would not be good at all. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep keep progressing through. Classical era, sweet. We've uh, advanced some research. So. No hour of life is uh, We're doing good, and we do want to found a religion at some point, so you might want to consider making um, like the religious sites as well. But of course there's no rush to form any religion. Get currency. I'm uh, going to go ahead and shoot at... Uh, yeah, we'll shoot at the spearmen. Just so they can't come rushing over the river. And then, of course, these guys will def. And actually, uh, let's uh, let's use him first. Is that a movement tile of... Cost of one? Uh, and nah, we'll just shoot him. We'll just shoot. Our, our guys are, again, they're, they're so good that it, it's not a big deal. In the early game, especially, because that combat, that plus five bonus is more noticeable in the early game, so you want to utilize it in the early game. Uh, America's kind of like Scythia in that they want to get get out their early attacks, and the fact that I, you know, I can spread across, you know, both sides of this continent without with my units should be pretty good evidence to to how well America can play like this. All right, so I'm moving back over here because uh, I want to wanted to see if the archer was still there, and he is. And we will wait for. Actually, yeah, we can get both these guys into combat position. We'll move up. These guys will take their archer shot and advance. So as you can see, we're 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 able to push on this uh, pretty pretty nicely. And again, sending our scout out to try and discover. Ooh, we define another city state. That's always good. Uh, they did not attack me, so we'll go ahead and attack them on our next turn. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll probably get shot at from the Barbarian Archer. I expect that to happen. Yep. Yeah, that's not good, but uh, again, I'm hoping we could balance it out. Yeah, it's a major victory, so... Again, thanks to our combat bonus, uh, we're able to stay in the fight. Uh, you know, we're able to keep up with guys who should really be, who should normally be killing other factions, or other civs, I should say. It only takes about two warriors to clear out a uh, spearman uh, defended area, uh, roughly. Uh, you know, I'm not a I'm not a math guy. And then we're gonna push in closer. Because we're going to take that, but, you know, there's no rush. We don't, we're don't. we not spending our gold on anything. So once you get the campus, uh, you might want to get a holy site. Uh, the holy site being used uh, for a number of things. Uh, we're going to go ahead. You might want to purchase tiles, though, like I am, to keep your districts close together. So we found Lisbon. Uh, we want to trade with... Uh, we definitely want to trade with Lisbon, actually, because they are a gold, um, gold sieve. Any yellow sieves give you gold to trade with them, so... As soon as we get a second trade route, we're going to go ahead and make trade with them. Which is super useful. I, I Money. If it, a strong economy... Amazing. We are just pushing through this. So we're going to send our archers forward. Uh, yeah, we might go all the way around the map. Uh, you can't physically move the map all the way around the map. Um, where's our goody hut? Oh, goody hut's right there. Okay. You can't physically move around the map until you actually get around the map. Ugh. Nah, I'll get out of there. 
That's unfortunate. We have a promotion. And a heal. And what do we want to get next? Well, there, we don't need sailing on this map. Um, you could go for iron working. Might just do the wheel, though, since that'll keep our turn time down. Ooh, political philosophy. We're, we're almost there. We're almost at our uh, forming our government. As you can see, you know, we're... This is world domination. I mean, we're, we're stretching across the, you know, the in everything. It, we want to get more cities, though. Uh, ooh, we're going to want to heal. Okay, let's... Run our warriors up. Okay, we gotta go defend ourselves. That guy might die. But it's okay, that'll just save us more money. If he dies, so no big deal. Oh, never mind. Oh, he stood on my goodie hut. That's dumb. Well, let's just keep exploring, I guess. And move back down to the goodie hut. Alright. Again, we're working on uh, making a... We got we got to make a holy site, and then we got to make a temple, and then we got to make a great prophet, and then put the great prophet on the holy site that holds the temple, and then we can found a religion. So it's going to be a little while until we start getting a lot of faith, but because we have the um, that that card from our government, uh, our chieftain government, uh, which is what you start out with as soon as you get any amount of culture, uh, we are getting one faith per turn, but we're getting a little less than a faith per turn. Uh, I'm not sure why we're getting a little less than a faith per turn, but that's. The way things are. Oh, apparently city states can't take your goodie huts, so we'll Sometimes go ahead and grab that. Slow. Hey, that boosted our construction of the wheel. That's fine. Now we'll go ahead and get iron working. And all those warriors we're going to make are just going to get super upgraded. Ideally, you actually want to get uh, up to crossbow. You want to you want to push your military up as quick as you can when you're doing when you're playing as America for the uh, since you're trying to dominate the world. Uh, go ahead and heal that guy. You know, there's no, there's no rush. We haven't found another sieve we want to go kill right away. So, you don't need to worry too much if I attack that. Go ahead and move up. Uh, move up. Again, yeah, he has fleets. But fleets aren't that useful on, on a Pangea map. I think this, like, loops around and over. Although it could be wrong. There's no way to predict what kind of map you're going to get, so... You don't, you can't really plan your strategy based on the map. But generally, you're always going to get, when you're playing the game in general, you'll have at least one civilization next to you, which will let you get these cities. What you do is you send your scout out. You want to find that uh, an, another opponent's city as quickly as possible, build a city in between yours and theirs, and then double produce your way into uh, into taking the city. We'll actually send this guy back. We'll, we'll explore it. See, there's iron there. We're going to want to get iron. Um, and again, just go ahead and continue to scout uh, your healing. Oh, we found Rome. Great. Rome is a pretty big threat, actually, because uh, their unique unit is in the uh, middle e medieval age. And what I'm doing, you could do for any civilization. I just like doing it with America because, like this early game fighting strategy, instead of building up and then attacking, uh, because again, America's bonus gets less and less useful as we go. Like, for example, we hover over it. Well, this is still on our continent. We want to find where the new continent is. Yeah. You, me you America. Right. So we won't get the combat bonus attacking these guys. Antonym. And uh, that's where we'll send most of our units now. Now that we've found a target, we're going to shift everyone over. We don't care about this. I might uh, clear it out first, but... More likely, it'll be it's a better move, I, I think, to just run away. We don't need to fight him. I don't really know what Egypt wants. Generally, they just like to build wonders, I think. Although, in my last game, they actually did build a lot of armies, so... We'll see what they decide to do. Yeah, again, the city-state can deal with them. Uh, it's not our job. We'll go ahead and run away. Now that we know where Rome is, and Rome will be a much easier target than uh, than some of the other ones. Uh, okay, so anytime you have production, uh, you don't forget about your walls. Walls are super important to have, especially when you're doing this war strategy. If you're going against players, you want to make sure your defenses are up, and then keep scouting around. Now, you won't have open borders anymore by this point in time, so you need to keep, keep that in mind. And then just start stationing guys, remember, two away from their border. But send your scout in. You can send a scout in. It won't hurt you. 
Hurry to do that. Uh, oh, there's a nice road here. We can take the road. The road will help speed it up. That's why trade routes are so nice to, to have going. And what's real cool is once we get uh, bronze working, as soon as our, as our swordsmen walk through our territory, we'll essentially be... Um, Uh, we'll be upgrading them to swordsmen. And because of our trade with the uh, gold, you know, uh, we do need to get that second trade route to tra trade with these guys. These guys will give us lots of money. Um, but we're currently waiting. Actually, let's purchase a... Um, I don't normally do this, but let's purchase a builder. we got to repair these so we can grow our city faster. Open borders for 30 turns for, for money? Yeah. I don't care if they can walk in my area. Ooh, that's a barbarian unit, though. That's not Roman, so... Gonna have a little bit of a struggle with that. But we're gonna keep... Uh, we're just gonna march through. Not much, Not a big deal. Get those guys on the road. Again, your cities are mostly safe. The nice part is about, you know, ha with uh, things being damaged and stuff, which can happen, which does slow your game down a bit. You're gonna find that... Uh, well, let's get the scout out. Uh, you're going to find that it just means it takes a little longer to find stuff. Okay, we got a Eureka bonus, so now we're getting... Now we're starting to crank out our uh, our great people, because we're getting ahead in science. Because uh, we've told our cities to make scientific things. Oh, jeez. Poor scout. We'll get our archers here. Don't worry. We're probably going to lose it, yeah. Don't worry, the scout isn't... Oh, there was a goody hut. I didn't even see the goody hut. That's unfortunate. Yes, yeah, so we'll walk in there. We don't have iron yet, so we can't actually make the swordsman, but uh, we, we're we near it. We're near iron, I think. I think iron... Yeah, we have iron, actually, in our city. Let's go, um... Let's go grab it. Uh, and in the in the meantime, we can make the, the housing. That's fine. We'll push up our archers. Kind of push through. As we make our way through the ages, uh, I do recommend. I made a mistake, but I would recommend trying to playing this with no turn limit, so just so that way it's a little easier to uh, actually secure the win. Because it's kind of hard in domination with uh, turn limits. Okay, the builders on the. Uh, Builders on the iron, so we'll get iron next turn, so we'll move that there. That guy there. And uh, go ahead and fortify. And uh, you'll fortify. We'll, we'll be uh, utilizing those guys in a second. And we don't have to upgrade everyone at the same time. In fact, you probably shouldn't. Um, we'll get the preemptive strike on them. Now, we don't get our uh, plus five combat bonus, but. Uh, we're, we're still, you know, we're still going to be in a pretty good good spot to attack him. Okay, go. Se second archer's coming out now. Yeah, so you see, it's not going to do nearly as much damage since we take him, took him out. These guys will hurt, though. But that's why we bring three archers. We don't just bring the one. Because uh, if we just brought the one, obviously, that would not be good. Okay, so we, we'll use this guy to finish off him. We'll actually just push this archer through to hopefully see if we can trick the AI into shooting at the stronger unit. That way we can then triple team them on the next turn. Uh, we have that. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kill off that scout. Because why not? They're not going to be in the border anyway. Uh, go ahead and promote units as you march through. Next turn. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. All good. Uh, no worries. Oh, no, they did go for the small one. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. Divide and rule. Okay, then the swordsman unit can start moving out. And then upgrade that guy to a swordsman. Not everyone will get to be a swordsman, so... Don't worry about it. And the upkeep cost will go up. So that's why you want to get that trade... Actually, let me... Actually, do some digging. Where to get the more... Where do I get more trade routes from? That's something I've actually always kind of been a little unsure of through here. I don't think so. I think it's in the science tree. 
right? Right, trade route comes from um, science. Oh no, we gotta build the we gotta build the commercial dit. Duh. We'll do that next turn. Okay. I was being dumb. We we need to build um, the correct districts. So. Wow, that guy's still alive. Okay. Uh, let's run you away since he's blocked, and then get get the good strike again. We're not gonna attack Rome right away. Ro the second, you know, sieve might might not always be as inopportune of a position. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab. the amenity one, because we can get more economic ones, like plus two gold from trade. That's really good. Uh, unit maintenance for all units, reduced by one gold, that's huge. And then influence. So once you get uh, your government set up, then you're going to find you're making more money. Look, we're already making 11 gold a turn now. We, we fixed our gold problem with one policy change. Yeah, so now he'll try and attack our smaller unit. Not going to work out. One man's magic. Or he'll attack our bigger unit, but it won't work. Yeah, that guy's gone. And then we just uh, set up shop here. He's definitely going to heal that guy. And we march our swordsman across. So now, because we got the um, that upgrade, why can't we upgrade him? Not enough gold in the treasury? Oh, okay. So yeah, gold might be an issue. I got my government kind of late, so I wasn't getting the discounts that I needed. Ooh, crossbow tech uh, has just been found, and we need to get a commercial hub. Requires a population uh, greater than seven, so let's make a granary that'll boost our food, which will boost our growth. Uh, we will need some more amenities, though, I think, so we might need to make some more builders. It's kind of a big balancing act, and it wouldn't even necessarily hurt to pull our men back just so that way we could upgrade them to crossbowmen. Because we are kind of rushing through things. And push warriors forward. And again, in a multiplayer game, you wouldn't necessarily want to leave your backside this this much open. Uh, but Because, yeah, even though there, there's ships here and there's just a scout, as soon as those walls come up, we can start attacking them. And start resisting. So it won't hurt us that much. You're healed. Next turn. Yeah, so we're pushing all of our forces over. Yeah, so Rome doesn't like it when we, do, when we don't do a lot of expanding, which we've actually done a lot of expanding, for the record. Where do, does it say? Where the commercial hub and harbor district. Yeah, commercial hub. Okay. Ooh, there's a barbarian there. We need to go kill it. There is a camp up here, I think, for us to fight. So we will uh, come up here with our with our army, our, you know, our warrior army, and deal with that. So being pretty spread out in a multiplayer game isn't always as good, but keep in mind, in a multiplayer game you would have killed one of your opponents already. So, like ups and downs. We'll go ahead and fortify there. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll attack and start marching our swordsmen over. We're going to purposefully fully pl pass through our territory, just in case we make enough gold. Games and recreation. Okay. Choose a production. Uh, again, we need population of four or greater, so we need stuff that makes food, so we'll make the watermill. And uh, send envoys to ooh, Libsons, so we're making more, so we can start making more money and get better relationship with them. Now that we have the walls, we can make ranged attacks and start start killing off the people at our cities. You definitely want to have walls when you're this spread out. You don't want to leave yourself undefended. Yep. Keep Stay peaceful with them. It's okay if you get dishonorable at, when you attack them later. It will not hurt you too much. And that sword, the swordsman unit should be able to kill off the scout. Yep. And then we can't get it qu the commercial district quite yet. We're not going to get a um, aqueduct, but we are going to go for. Uh, let's do a let's get watermill here also. Let's get the watermill because we kind of rushed through. Oh, and we just met Bom Brazil. Dia. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Hmm. I wonder if Brazil is a good science of. 
I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we can exchange. I want to know where he is. So Brazil is down here. Ugh. Okay. We're in the medieval era, so... Remember that people break... Oh. Ah! It's doing the glitch where... Uh... No, we don't want that. We want mathematics. Unit needs orders. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade to a swordsman. And move out. Unit needs orders. And we'll just slowly march. Um... And heal that guy. Ooh, okay, okay. We got... Six plus six gold for go and a science going to Stockholm. So we'll definitely repeat that route. Um, we always like gold. Yeah, open borders and a gold. That's fine. Uh, Brazil can walk through our area. We don't really care what the AI sees because they don't strategize like we do. Uh, okay, commercial hub. Perfect. Now, where do we put it? That's a good question. As always, uh, we don't want to cut out our food. How much gold do we have? 43? Uh, we are not going to do that yet. We're going to go ahead and make the library first. Uh, if you can't afford to make something, don't worry about it. We'll just keep one of our guys as a warrior. It's fine. The nice thing about the jump from warrior to swordsman is that the gold cost doesn't really change for the upkeep, so you can afford to, to turn your guys into swordsmen without worrying about oh, you know spending too much money. At least as far as I know, the upkeep on a swordsman and a warrior with our bonus that's blocking, that's helping us with our gold, is not particularly impactful. Okay, so our first swordsman finally made it over. And we're just trying to trying to grow this up to seven. Once we get up to seven, we'll get we'll definitely make that have a commercial hub. And then we'll move forward here get ready to start the siege into Rome. It would be nice to have a battering ram. Actually, we might make a battering ram before we start this. Uh, what would really be nice is to make these archers into crossbowmen. Because we do have the tech for it. Uh, maybe we'll send them back. Uh, I don't want to delay this too long. I don't want Rome to get too strong. Especially because it's Rome. You know, Rome is, is beefy. They are not easy to fight. We are not quite there yet. Um, make a shrine, I guess, for now, next turn. Waiting for the turn to load. Okay, let's go ahead and advance our swordsmen. Actually, we might send the archers back home to upgrade. It's going to take us a while before we are making enough income to get battering rams and stuff. So, we'll go ahead and slow it down. But you do want to be attacking them. Like, we're going we're gonna to attack this guy as quick as we can. Ideally, before one turn 100, we want to make the attack. I, it's my hope, anyway, that I can, I'm able to run essentially straight through him. And get to Brazil. Uh, hit the unturn button. You may em rimat shauti you em paiter. Ente kiswa en yim you yem. Right then. Um, waiting for the sieves to take their turns. Without mathematics. Okay, choose research. And construction. Let's get siege towers. Okay. Oh, oops, I moved the wrong unit. Damn it. That'll slow us down a little. Um, moving troops through each other is not the easiest process. That was not obvious. Um, sure, let's make the aqueduct now. Uh, it's the worst tile, so we'll build it on top of that. Skip turn. Skip turn. There's hills all over. So we're going to have to take some turns to jump over here. Yeah. But I want to turn my men into crossbowmen. Plus, we're earning gold over time, and hopefully, we will get uh, you know the trade route stuff dealt with. Move here, move here, move swordsmen, and move the archers back. Okay, so we're kind of shuffling our units around in a little bit of a tedious way. I was thinking we would attack before you know we needed crossbowmen, but at that strength of a city, we, we're going to need crossbowmen to be able to to get through, essentially. 
or at least for me to feel comfortable trying to get through. Because I don't know that we could do it on our own. Okay, commercial hub. Thank God. Thank goodness. Uh, 26 turns till our border grows. Uh, do we get rid of the stone? I don't really want to get rid of the stone. It's 140 to buy the tile. I don't want to buy the tile. We'll have to put it separate. Yeah, we'll have to. Because we don't want to delay it at all. That's the other thing. We, we want to get our another trade route up. So we can start trading with the gold city. And then once we get... I mean, once, once we once we're trading with the city that gives us gold, we'll, we'll be able to, to fund a huge army. Without having to worry about, uh, you know... The, the cost of our units. You know, upkeep upkeep pretty much goes out the window when you have enough men. I do want to try and found a religion, though, at some point. Uh, I don't know where, if we're making temples. Uh, we have universities still building the aqueducts, being built. People who cannot find time for recreation. Create with the heart. Yeah. We're getting our science and culture done at about the same time. And the nice thing is once we, uh, when we take Rome, uh, which we will do. I, I fully plan to do that. We're gonna after we take Rome, we essentially end up having to. Um, uh, actually, that's boosted. We'll go. We'll go there. One, two. Uh, once we take Rome, we're gonna be able to upgrade our units within our own borders because it'll be our city. So that makes it a lot easier to be able to get through everything. And uh, we're almost coming up at the end of the turn sequence. So we'll go ahead and uh, get our men in here. We can upgrade. None of golden treasury. That's fine. We're going to wait for the gold to be in the treasury. How much is it to upgrade, I wonder? How much? 190? Claim a great person. Let's grab that. He will go... Uh, get a Eureka moment. Yay! For a random technology. Okay. Next turn. So we'll start upgrading our archers and send them back. And then once our, all of our upgraded archers are there, we'll make the attack. And then hopefully things will go smoothly. Oh, we didn't quite get enough on that turn. Okay. You know, needs orders... Uh, yeah, just go, just go sit there. Again, we don't have our trade route up, so it, it's a bit slower. But fortunately, as we kill Rome, we'll be able to kill Brazil right after. We'll just uh, my plan anyway is for us to just plow straight through, so we won't need to do any sort of recuperation after that. We want to just go straight through. Otherwise, we'll, they could you know counterattack. Okay, so this guy's the closest, so we'll upgrade him first. And he'll be able to move. Those guys will just hold position. Until next turn. Coming up on turn 99. But now that we have crossbowmen. Because you, sh you shoot at cities with the range units. And you capture them with melee units. So having redundancy is really important. Choose production. You will make a, one of those things. Three food. Two food and a thing. Can't afford to buy any tiles. So we won't do that. We will get... Um, a watermelon. And as we come on to turn 100, guys, that is going to end this episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I've been having a blast. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll be fine. Make markets also. That'll give you gold. Really boost it. And hopefully next episode we will see the fall of Rome. Uh, that's my goal anyway. I'm sure they have more than one city, but uh, that's not their capital. So we, we'll be able to get a... I think we'll be okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't think uh, this domination victory plan will be too nasty. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'm El Worfi, and I'll see you guys next time.